Hello everybody and welcome to a late night beginning of a new adventure here. Um, I bought this machine from my usual thrift store. Um, I bought it for an exorbitant amount of money, uh, $15. And um, I was going to put this off until I could film it all in one day, but I'm just I'm overcome with curiosity on whether or not it actually turns on. Um, you can probably see that it's um, an old Sony Vio, but it's it's disgusting. It's covered in crap. It's covered in excuse me. It's covered in dust. It's covered in slime. It's got stuff all over it. You know the little cracks. You can see dust and dirt and corrosion and whatnot. There's I don't know what this is here, but it's in, it's in rough shape for sure. And I have not cracked this thing open yet. And I'm, I'm kind of interested to see what's inside of here. Um, I kind of know what the specs of the machine are um, simply because there is a part number up here and I have looked it up, but we'll, save that for later as far as like seeing inside the machine it's really kind of hard to do um if we spin it around we can see another sort of glimpse as to what's in the machine here um we have a you know a printer port so it's going to put it older um it's going to put it in the uh like early like 2002 2003 sort of um era and while well, we have a Windows XP sticker, so that kind of dates it there. Uh, and we have a single slot video card, um, like a cable, you know, like a TV card, and then a phone modem. So it's, it's kind of older, but I, it's, I believe it's a Pentium 4 sort of era. Anyways, um, I saw this on the shelves at, uh, like I said, the, the thrift store that I like to go to. And I immediately recognized it because a buddy of mine had this, I can't say it's this exact machine, but it was this case. I'm sure there's different uh, variations of it, but um, he bought it brand new and he used to do audio. Um, he was a, an aspiring sort of like a hip hop artist. <laughs> um, but he used it for audio. Uh, I don't know what you call it creation um i don't know what was really in it but it was I, I remember the times i saw he was using it it was really kind of sleek and nice and way nicer than um the the hobbled together machine i had at the time um so i'm like i said i'm i'm, I'm interested to see if this thing actually even will turn on and i'm interested to see what's inside what's behind this panel here um, but before we turn it on, um, we are missing the um, CD-ROM, I imagine they were doors that flipped down and they're not there anymore. Uh, I looked briefly on eBay and I didn't see anything for them, but maybe I was just looking for the wrong thing. Anyways, I'm going to hook this thing up and we're going to see if it posts. So let's see if it powers up. Oh. She's a loud one. I heard a beep. It powers up. Now is there a hard drive in there? There is a hard drive in there. Windows XP. Holy cow. Let me get a tripod. Alright, we're, well, we're a little bit tilted here. Anyways, um, and let's see what we got going on in here. There's, um, it's kind of weird, actually. What is all this? Anyways, uh, it's taken a minute to start up. I'm sure it's riddled with um, spyware and stuff like that, so I'll be back when the mouse responds. Okay, it's still, um, it's still booting up, but the fan inside it is starting to ramp up. Can you hear that? Wow, that is... 
and our mouse isn't working. Neither is the keyboard. It's still thinking. Holy cow, listen to that. Alright, I'll be back when this mouse is responsive. Alright, the mouse has become responsive. Um, it's a little spaceship, which is weird. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put hardware monitor on here so I can hear or see um, what temperature we're running at. Before I do that, let's um, look at hardware monitor and see what we got in this computer. Well, system, sorry. Uh, let's see, we have a uh, Pentium 4 3.2 gigahertz, a gig of RAM. And hardware device manager. An ATI X300. What kind of hard drive do we have in here? Leapfrog Letter Factory. Hard drive is a. Whoops. Ah, Windows XP. Uh, how do I how do I go up one? There's no back button. There we go. I don't know why that was hidden. This is a 182 gigabyte drive. Okay, this thing is <laughs> freaking out. Oh, jeez, we're kicking in a maximum overdrive. Holy cow, you know what, stop, 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 stop. You stop. All right, uh, let me see here. Clocks, temperature, do we not have temperatures of the processor? I wonder if the uh, chipset drivers aren't installed for this. There's no Pentium 4, 550, 540. Okay, um, kind of interested in this. Desktop RRRRR, the folder is empty. I'm going to say that this was not owned by a computer savvy person just based on these um, software installed and weird shortcuts on the desktop. So um, I would really like to see the temperature that this thing is running at. Okay, this thing sounds terrible. How about we crack it open, see how much dust it's filled with. I'm really surprised that it actually works. And um, I didn't really have a plan for this other than like, um, here, let's see. Oh, I don't know how to use my camera stand. My, my plan for this was really just to like get it, clean it up, and make it look presentable again. So let's start with that. Let's open it up and see what's inside of it. See how gross it looks. All right, I got the machine on its side here. Let's take out the one screw holding the side panel on. Also, this th it's like, it's got like a weird, I think this thing was in a smoker's house because it's got that weird like tobacco-y, like sticky feeling on like all, all parts of it. Oh, especially on the inside. Ugh. Before we open this, let's... Okay, well, you can't see it, but oh god, that feels awful. All right, let's see here. Well, it's not too dirty inside. I mean, it's dusty. You know, SATA dries. We got a pretty beef cooler. Oh, yeah, this was a smoker's house. Oof, that's gross. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, well, we got four. Wait, how do we have a gig of RAM? Oh, I bet you we have two, two two fifty sixes and one five twelve stick. We can probably fix that and get us into um, dual channel. And then, oh god, I just realized on the back of this panel is completely like sticky and covered in cigarette smoke. Oh, that's awful. 
Oh, this is disgusting. Overall, it's not completely terrible. Oh, we got IDE CD-ROM drives, really? Sony, you didn't, <laughs> you didn't spring for the SATA drives? We could probably upgrade those. Um, yeah, it's um, it's gross in here. I'm not sure how I'm gonna clean these cards, but we are gonna clean them. Man, it is it's gross in here. So I don't I don't know why they they do it like this. A lot of OEMs will do the fan upside down, pulling air off of the CD, uh, not the CD, um, the CPU cooler. We'll, we'll end up flipping that over for sure. Um, at the very least, it'll help cool off components around it. And then, man, I'm going to... I'm going to end up tearing this thing completely apart and giving it a nice soak. Because it's disgusting. And then, hopefully, we can get this thing running like new again. I was expecting way worse in here, but it is... God, everything you touch is just so gross. Oh! Anyways, I was expecting worse. Kind of glad that we don't have worse. I think this is a cool little computer for 15 bucks. Um, so let's... Uh, I'm going to start... For me, it's going to be tomorrow after work. Um, the cleaning process. For, for you, it's going to be in the very next scene. So, um, I'll see you tomorrow. So, welcome back. Um, the astute of you will realize that it is not yet tomorrow, but I did want to point out, I was kind of poking around and looking around and I'm, I'm looking at this screw here for holding down the, um, CPU cooler. I, th I think somebody's been in here and maybe at one point done some work in here. Um, but that's not straight. That, that screw there is like like loose oh yeah complete <laughs> completely loose so let me grab that yeah not even screwed on at all which means the cpu cooler is probably not doing a whole lot which is why we can probably hear it ramping up to like 100 percent so other than that I think I'm really going to leave you until tomorrow when we can start cleaning this thing out. And man, I I feel like I'm going to get some like degreaser and just spray it down. All right, it's currently the next day. I am fed and happy and ready to commence the teardown of this machine. So... In case I wasn't clear yesterday, and there's a good chance on that because I was a few whiskeys deep and a couple of beers. Um, it is disgusting. I got it. Just all I did is touch it, and it's so gross. Um, but this one's a little bit different than the XP. Um, actually, what did I call that? The thrift store XP build that I did, which was also a Sony Vio, but that had an AGP slot. And this one contains a PCI Express slot. So this one's a little bit more powerful. Um, I believe it says the same processor, a 3.2 gigahertz Pentium 4. Um, however, it could be the next generation. I don't know. Because um, there was two types of um, Pentium 4s. I don't remember the names of them. What was it like? Prescott and something else. I don't know. We'll tear it apart. We'll find out. Anyways, um, we're going to tear it down completely now. Well, um, tonight we might just tear it down a little bit and continue it tomorrow. But anyways, uh, let's let's get tearing it down. Because the sooner we tear it down, the sewer, sooner we can get rid of this stuff. God, that's... This is honestly like I've I've rebuilt or cleaned up many computers that were completely filled with dust, but not very often you get one that's caked this bad with um, nicotine. And this this is from a smoker's 
um, household. It's they they get gross. They get real gross. So let's do this thing a solid and clean it up. I want to start with the power supply. Get these cables out of here. I think I can pull that out now. Hey, you know what? Let's make sure we. Yep. Definitely see this. People don't smoke around your PCs. Go outside, go in your garage, go, go somewhere else. Don't smoke around your computers, don't smoke around your electronics, or this is the fate of them. So now that we got that out of there, let's pull some of these IDE cables out of here. God, they're gross too. I don't like this. I should be wearing gloves. Let's get these out of here. So what do we have in here? We have a DVD RW made by, I have no idea. There's no name on here. No name on the front. Just disgusting this. What the next one? This is just DVD R, our DVD ROM drive, made by MIC. A lot of time these are like Sony brand. Look at that. Look at on the front of this. Look at it. it's glistening. Oh, that is disgusting. Let's get this hard drive out of here. Save the cable. Boom. So we have two screws on the caddy here. And then, yep, got hidden screws in here. So this is a Mac store 200 gigabyte. Um, I'm looking for the RPMs on it. It doesn't even say. I'm going to guess it's like a 5200. Just going to remove this um, fan from the back. It looks like it's a 92 millimeter. It is, however, a PM. Um, is it PWM or PMW? It's a four pin fan. Variant is still, well, no, it's not great. But maybe we can save this. I have plenty of 92 millimeters, um, if need be. But it still feels like it's all right. We can probably tear that one apart and clean it up and get the funk out of it. Uh, let's pull the RAM out of here and see what we got. Like I said, I think it's going to be two 256s. Yeah, there's a DDR 256-400. It's nice that it's got 400s and not like a 333. Yep. 400. So there's the original 512, and it looks like somewhere along the line in this thing's life, somebody upgraded it with another 512 megabytes. However, it's single channel. Um, so it's probably hurting performance a little bit. Uh, probably runs a little bit better with just the, the 512 in it with a dual channel. Let's get this card out of here, the graphics card. And since it's a PCI Express, I could... <laughs> so the, the fastest graphics card, that, you know, the most powerful graphics card I have is a GTX 1070. And that would be kind of fun to put in here. There we go. And it's quick. It's getting funky quick. And then the last thing in here as far as uh, component cards go, PCI cards, is just this modem. And this modem is probably going to get chucked into the drawer with the rest of the modems. I 
it, I'm so good. Mm, I can't tell if that's factory thermal paste or not. That is a pretty beefy cooler. Yeah, LGA 775 right there. So this is a Pentium 4, uh, the newer generation, and I forget the terminology, but it's a newer gen generation than my retro Pentium 4 machine that I put the ABIT IS7 board into just recently. So I'm back. Hydration break. So none of these screws on the motherboard have been tight. They're all kind of almost finger, finger loose, finger tight. Oh, now everything's broken. Or can I just kind of, yep, I can. Finished tearing this thing down completely. And it is, as you can see, pretty awful <laughs> to say the least. Um, you can see here, you know, where the airflow in and out of the case is um, highest is where you're going to have the most concentrated dust and nicotine uh, mixture, uh, compote, cake, whatever. Um, it has gotten into every nook and cranny of this and during disassembly of the machine, it has gotten my desk and surrounding area just completely filthy. <laughs> Not that this has been the this is the cleanest um, area in the house, but it is definitely not helping it at, at all. So my plan is for my hard parts here, um, you know, case and um, side panels and stuff like that. I'm gonna try rinsing them off in real hot water, um, you know, over in the shower. I don't think it's gonna work. Um, if it doesn't work, and like. I, I said I, I don't think it's going to. I've got some uh, brake parts cleaner that'll definitely make short work of this. At least I hope it will. And maybe minimal scrubbing and we'll get rid of this um, this filth and foul that is just encrusted on this thing. So I'll be right back. We'll see if it works.